hello guys welcome to live today session yeah it's kind of important let me open the notepad yeah so today we'll talk about quality score and rank actual cpc so these are very important. This Google Calculate actually, but some kind of maths is involved in this. I'll try to make it uh, very simple. Okay. Before we start, yesterday I asked one question, like your ad is not appearing. So someone searching, you also searching, your ad is not appearing. Tell me five reasons why your ad is not appearing. So you got any answers for that? It, yes, sir. But it, the, the reasons were completely about not not at all appearing there. It's not partial, like it's saying not bidding enough and schedule is restricted. Your voice is not clear, Paul. Yes, sir. sir, sir. Just... Am I audible, sir? Yeah. So, so what is the, reason? the reasons were all about not at all up appearing the ad like ad is not appearing at all mm -hmm. those reasons are not bidding enough and ad should deal is too much restricted and accidentally bidded low amount so those reasons are given normal terms we talk cpc is low like on top seven people are there who cpc is 100 120 140 you're going something 40 obviously ad will not appear if your CPC is low, your ad will not appear. Next. Uh, ad schedule is too much restricted. Ad schedule. Like there is an option called ad schedule. Like I want to show my ad on Monday to Friday, morning 9 to 12, but you're searching at 1 o'clock. This is also one reason. Okay. Next. Negative words, sir. Like negative keywords uh, yeah. let's talk about keywords yeah. only keyword not targeted so what are the keyword you're searching the advertiser not even targeted so that is also one reason next uh, the ad might be stopped or removed or passed for what Hello, Maybe sir? your campaign paused. Yeah, sir. Paused, paused, stopped, or removed. Next. The negative adjustments are too large. I added keyword, so it comes under that. Any other? Okay. Those are five I've written on my notebook, actually. Your daily budget exhaust. Yeah. It's also a reason, right? I don't know, exhaust spelling. Okay, I'm just going in. If your daily budget exhausts, then on low, one reason. But one more reason is quality score as well. If your quality score is low, then also your ad will not be appearing. Okay? This, this Maybe your budget exhausts, daily budget exhausts, but quality score also matter. So let me talk about the quality score. What is quality score? By it effect. Sir? yeah but i didn't get the answer why it, the ad didn't appear to you on your sprp page i didn't get you like yesterday it doesn't appear to you right the ad yes on the crp yes. page correct well, i didn't get that answer why appear to us and not to you so it can be any of the reasons so keyword is okay maybe the quality score you can see this maybe your quality score is low one more option also there, sevens, and uh, it depends on the Google actually. Previously, there used to have an option, even I forgot the option. Now there is no such option. Google manage. Like, see, your, your daily budget, 
The daily budget is thousand. The CPC is hundred. How many clicks are possible? Ten clicks. How many, how many clicks are possible? Ten clicks. Ten clicks are possible, right? Ten clicks are possible. These ten clicks can happen early in the morning, right? Like uh, yeah. morning, eight a.m. Also, a ten clicks can happen. Okay. So, but what Google will do is, Google have a responsibility of spending your budget throughout the day. So, when morning eight a.m. one or two clicks happens, Google pause your ad. It will, it will, it will store your budget for a next hour, nine a.m. At 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 1 p.m. So throughout the day, it will try to allocate the budget. So in that case also, ad might be not appearing. <clears throat> you got what I'm saying? Yeah, got So it. previously, there was an option called standard and accelerated versus accelerated. The default option will be standard. Standard means your budget will allocate throughout the day. So one guy able to see and click means other guy might not see because Google want to spend your daily budget throughout the day. But if you select accelerated, your budget can finish immediately in the first hour itself. If any emergency is there, your shop is opening and you want to have more clicks, you can go for that. Now Google have removed this option by default. It is standard only. So this is also one reason when you searching ad is appearing, when I'm searching ad is not appearing because Google is systematically spending the budget. Got born? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Pradeep, uh, low account balance also kind of correct. Okay. Now let's talk about the quality score, about all the reasons. What is quality score? Quality score is a score given by google google only gave you score is between one to ten one is low and ten is good means you should try to get ten it depends on cpr plus add relevance Plus landing page experience. These are three elements. CTR plus ad relevance plus landing page experience. I'll explain one by one what are these. CTR is nothing but click through rate. Like we have uh, A and B. There are two advertisers. A CPC is 30 and B CPC is 20. So A want to pay 30 rupees per click, B want to pay 20 rupees per click. Now, what is the ad rank of A if only two ads are appearing? What is the ad rank of A? One. Yes. What do you mean by ad rank? Uh, the number of the rank of the ad on a CRP page. The total, as I said, seven ads will be there. Top four, bottom three. Sometimes five, sometimes three, sometimes no. But a correct, a proper uh, CRP structure is top four and bottom three ads. Now, ad rank means position of your ad. Position of upgrade ad is one. This guy is two. This guy is three. This guy is four. So, why this guy is coming on a fourth position? Maybe the bid and quality score. So, ad rank. So, I initially think ad rank depends on CPC. This is not true, but I'll, I'll show you why it is not true. So, we can simply say that if you pay good CPC, your ad rank will be good. Okay. In that case, ad rank of A is 1. Ad rank of B is 2. Now for the particular keyword, both of them targeting the same keyword. 
the total impressions. 100 people search the keyword digital marketing codes in Hyderabad. And these two ads are appearing. So 100 impressions for A and 100 impressions for B as well. Both of them got impressions. Now clicks. Let's talk about clicks. Because A is coming on top, because A is coming on top, we guess that he'll be getting more click. A T. This is not true, but I'm just mentioning. He's coming second, that's why he's getting 20 clicks. CPR. CPR is nothing but click through rate. CPR equals to number of clicks by number of impressions into 100. Now in this case, what is the answer? Number of clicks are 80 by 100 into 100. So 80% here, 20% 80% of the people are clicking on the first ad, 20% of the people are clicking on the second one. So your quality score depends on CTR. What CTR depends on guys? How to get high CTR? Now this guy's CTR is 80%. How to get high CTR for a particular uh, advertiser? Uh, PTM, high amount. So, so we can first get... of all, you should get more clicks so that your CTR is good. You want to get more clicks, your ad rank should be first. To get your ad rank first, your CPC should be good. That's it. So I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is initially, Whenever you want to run an ad, CPC should be good. If CPC is good, what happens? Your ad rank will be good. If your ad rank is good, then what happens? Your clicks will be more. If your clicks are more, your click-through rate is good. If your click-through rate is good, it directly impact on your quality score. See? So I'm mentioning quality score. So your quality score also good. And what happens if your CTR is good, then your quality score increases. Because this guy's CTR is good, I should that his quality score is 8 and this guy quality score is 2, I should. And what happens? See, CPC will come down. He's paying 30 rupees, right? Now Google says that don't pay 30 rupees, just pay 18 rupees. Now, second guy, how much is paying? He's paying 20. According to us, what is said? Ad rank depends on CPC. So the person who pays highest will come on top. But let's see now. This guy is paying 18, he's coming on top. This guy is paying 20, he's coming second. So ad rank not only depends on CPC, quality score also matters. So please remember this. So whenever you're running an ad for the first time for advertiser, Always make sure that your CPC is good. If your CPC is good, our rank will be good. You'll attract more clicks. Your CTR is good. It will affect your quality score so that your CPC will come down. Okay. So this is CTR. Next, add relevance. Add relevance means customer is searching SAP training in Hyderabad. But Someone searching, your SEO training in Hyderabad ad is appearing. In what situation this happens? Customer is searching something else, but he landed on a different one. In what situation? Yeah. So customer searching for SAP training in Hyderabad. Still, your SEO training in Hyderabad ad is appearing. In what situation this happens? Broad match situation. Yeah, when you use broad match, because the broad match single word appeared and ad is appearing. 
So customer saws and click. The ad is not relevant. Customer is not happy, will come back immediately. So that's why make sure that your ad should be relevant. So make sure that use phrase match with the negative keywords or use exact match. But don't use broad match. If you use ad will be irrelevant. If ad is irrelevant, nobody clicks. Some clicks also they'll come back immediately. So make sure this. Next landing page experience. Customer came to your website, he clicked on your ad. He clicked on your ad, but ad is the website is still loading, or this is not mobile friendly. Okay, then what happens? Customer page experience, landing page experience is bad, he will be coming back. So Google decides your qualities based on CTR, ad relevance, landing page experience. How to increase the CTR? I clearly told you, initially go with a good CPC so that you'll get a good CTR. To improve the ad relevance, make sure that use phrase match and exact match. And one more thing is there, related keywords should be in one ad group. Like you want to run ads, for a digital marketing course. What people think is, just think about it. Okay, so you're running ads for our DMG and you want to run ads for Hyderabad only, so Hyderabad location. And I want to use only one ad group called digital marketing because only one course is there. In digital marketing, I want to have keywords, right? Now this guy using a keyword called SEO codes in Hyderabad. Google Ads codes in Hyderabad. Next, digital marketing codes in Hyderabad. Whatever the search, your ad is in touch with that. Your ad shows that digital marketing codes, 100% job. Is there someone searching digital marketing codes in Hyderabad? If you show this ad, this is really good. But someone searching SEO codes in Hyderabad, they are showing digital marketing. It's okay, but sometimes customer feel this ad is irrelevant. When someone searching SEO codes, ad should be SEO only. Then what are you gonna do to rectify this mistake? Someone searching SEO codes in Hyderabad, I want to show SEO codes in only. Then what do you have to do? Someone searching Google Ads course, I want to show that only. So what are you going to do with this? We'll use phrase match or broad match modifier. No, that is not the solution. Any other answers, guys? Negative match. No. Someone searching SEO codes, I want to show SEO codes only not the digital marketing flower bucket in headline now try guys anyone try this so simple it's very simple what you can do is see completely this is the campaign and this is the ad group you created only one ad group okay you should create three ad groups. All SEO keywords should be in one ad group. All Google Ads keywords should be in one ad group. All digital marketing. So you have to divide your ad group not because of the services. I'm providing only digital marketing goods. No. Check out your keywords. All similar keywords should be in one ad group. Then it will work out. So what I'm going to do is I'm dividing Hyderabad campaign what I'm doing is I'm dividing into three different ad group. One is SEO, one is Google Ads, one is digital marketing. If social media is there, you can use that as well. Okay. Now this is the ad group. Under SEO, I'll put all SEO keywords. SEO codes in Hyderabad, SEO training in Hyderabad, SEO classes in Hyderabad and to represent this every ad group should have one ad right now here I will be adding like SEO 
courts in Hyderabad. 100% job. Now in Google Ads, I'll add uh, Google Ads related keywords like Google Ads courts in Hyderabad. Now ad should be the same. Now here, digital marketing. Does it make sense guys, all of you? So people think that I want to create one ad campaign, one ad group, few keywords is enough. No, that's not correct. A best campaign should be in such a way that try to have multiple campaigns, multiple ad groups. How to divide the ad groups? I told you like based on the services, no, not based on the services. First of all, try all the keywords related to business. Maybe have a hundred keywords. Among them, similar keywords, put it in one ad group put it in one hand group. Then what happens? All of them, this is the relevant ad for this relevant, for this relevant. Then what happens? You will satisfy this one, ad relevance. Most of the advertisers fail here. Any question on this? Is it clear? Clear, sir. Okay. Finally, landing page experience has said, it's all about your hosting, how fast it is, whether it is mobile friendly or not. If everything is fine, the landing page experience will be good. Based on that, Google gave you. It's Google gave you. It's not in our hands. What you can do is make sure that you attract more clicks. Again, getting more clicks depends not only if you come on top, you will not get clicks. Sometimes customer click on this 100% placement assistant. So how you write ad copy also attract more clicks. So your CTR depends on where your ad is appearing, how your ad copy. Ad relevant depends on how you distributed your keywords. Finally, landing page experience about how your page experience, how fast it's loading, whether it's mobile friendly or not. Based on all these things, quality score Google give you from one to 10. Getting above six is really good actually. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 is good. But less than six means you should worry that uh, you get a less quality score. This is about the Google quality score next we thought that uh, ad rank ad rank depends on cpc asset if your uh, cpc is good your ad rank no it's not correct i'll show you with the formula how google calculate ad rank again this ad rank also calculate by the google only google only assign these numbers how they assign i'm going to show you here let me take this example no credit So there are A, B, C, D, and uh, the CPC is 25, and the quality score is 5478. Okay, so there are four advertisers, they're running ads for a particular keyword. A ready to spend 20, B25, C15, and D18. According to you, if CPC only matters, who should come on top? Which advertiser should come on top? B, sir. B, because B is paying 25. Second? A. 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 Third? A. D. D. And fourth is C. C. But I'm telling you, Google is not caring only CPC. I assume that Google caring quality score. First of all, how this guy got a quality score of 5? How this guy got a quality score of 5? Because of his CPC. Based on CPC? Yes. No. Someone answer. How these people got this quality score? Based on what parameters? Quality score. Yes, guys. 
how Google gave him this guy quality score of eight. Sir, yeah, isn't it? So in the chat box, someone mentioned CPR plus ad relevancy and landing page experience. Only with the CPC, Google will not calculate. The campaign is run. They check the CTR of this guy, ad relevance and landing by experience. Then Google have assigned this. This is not in our control. Google, Google gives this number. But your because of your performance only, first of all, how many clicks are coming? What is CTR? And how relevant is your ad? Now see here, this guy is paying 20, but his quality score is 5 only. He's paying 18, but his quality score is 8. Because his CTR is good, his ad relevance is good, his landing pay experience is good. Okay? So assume that if Google calculating only quality score, then this guy should come on top. 8, this guy should come on top. Second, this guy. Third, fourth. But no. Google calculate both. Google calculate CPC. Google calculate quality score. Then what they do is they multiply CPC into quality score. They then do it. Let's see this 20 into 500. 100. Not 5. 144. This is called ad rank score. Ad rank score. What uh, if only one parameter should not count? If you really want to uh, check both of them, what they're doing, they're multiplying. When they're multiplying, whose number is highest, they will be coming on top. Now, Google calculate ad rank based on the ad rank score. Now, tell me whose ad rank score is good? B, 144. So, he will come on first position. Second, 105. He'll come in a second position. Third is a tie. Both are coming in the same. Then who will check the quality score? This guy quality score is good. So he will come in a third position. And this is fourth. You don't have to worry. We will not going to do this. This Google will decide. This quality score also Google only calculate. This ad rank also Google only calculate. But why we are learning? Because if you learn, you can do wonders. That is the only reason. Now if you check it, the guy who is paying highest 25 is CPC highest. He should come on top, but he end up coming in a fourth position. This clearly shows that only CPC, if you go for a good CPC, you will not win the position. Why? Because his quality score became very less. Now let's come to this guy. His quality score is really good. Don't think that because of that only coming on top. Now assume that he reduced his CPC. He's reduced his CPC to 10. Now 10 into 8, AP. Ad rank score is 80, end up in fourth position. So only quality score also doesn't matter. Both are very important. For a successful campaign, you should maintain a good CPC, at the same time, good quality score. CPC in your hand, you can put CPC. But to get a quality score, make sure that, make sure that you write very good headlines use proper match types okay and make sure that uh, all the relevant keywords you should put it in one ad group and uh, make sure that your website loads very fast then automatically quality score improves any questions guys how many clicks do we need for ad rank to calculate pradeep it uh, we will not calculate google will calculate at the end of the day within 24 hours Google calculate all these things. Okay. So now my question, there are two questions. There is an answer. How Google calculate quality score and ad rank. How Google calculate quality score. So based on CPR plus ad relevance. Ad relevance Plus, and we pay experience. When it comes to ad rank, how Google calculate ad rank? Previously, I said CPC. If your CPC is good, ad rank, no. CPC into quality score. You know our CPC and Google gave quality score. CPC into quality score equals to 
add rank score you see your add rank score whose add rank score is good google assign the best add rank that's it. again these all calculations you don't have to remember these two designed by the google only google only calculate this then what i have to do while i running a campaign what i have to focus you have to focus only one thing first of all make sure that your ad copy is good so that people should click use proper extensions next use proper keyword match types don't use broad match use phrase match with negative or exact match with negative next thing uh you have to divide your keywords into different ad groups don't put it in only one ad group that doesn't work if you put it in different ad groups you can write a better headlines in the ad copy so that people think it's relevant they click on that next thing is your website should load very fast so that uh, your landing page experience is good if all are good mohammad aftab can we check quality score yes we can check quality score there is an option where you can check the quality score i will show you that as well ad rank to you will check on the google or ad preview diagnosis you can check but when it comes to quality score i will show you today where the option is finally one more parameter google calculate is in the bidding i ask you to go for a max cpc i always says that go for automatic bidding with a max cpc if your max cpc is 80 rupees each time customer clicking on your ad how much amount deducted you mentioned your max cpc as 80 now when comes to pawan in his campaign he used 140 but each time customer clicking 140 is not deducting how much is that in tell me how google calculate the actual cpc what is the actual cpc every time customer clicking on your ad how much amount will be deducted pradeep says 81 yeah, if it is 80 he is saying 81 yeah after the tax 14 ha google like google gives kind of an off from our price by the quality score we have no forget about the quality score check without quality score tell me you mentioned that i want to pay maximum 140 each time customer clicking on your ad how much amount will get see pradeep now it's correct second computer cpc plus 1 that's correct right see it's very simple you know a paying uh, he says that his max cpc is 140 now there is a guy called b he says that i want to pay 30 rupees your your amount will be 30 plus 1 31 it will take told right if your computer say 2 google say 3 if your computer says 20 google say 21 if your computer say 80 it say 81 if your computer say 139 google say 140 If your competitor say 142, Google say that I'm fine, I'm 40 because your max CPC is 140. So actual CPC calculation is equals to competitor CPC plus one rupee. Generally, Google charge it as a 0.01 dollars. But here is the formula. We mentioned that Google. will not calculate only cpc so the formula will become bigger so what i'm trying to explain you today is you mention your max cpc as 140 rupees i've seen yesterday uh, pawan campaign it was charging 105 rupees 106 rupees because the competitor how much is invested just plus 0.01 dollars google is charging but here quality score also matters here it will become competitor cpc right actual form i equals to competitor ad rank score by your quality score again this is done by google you don't have to remember this but for your understanding only 
प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन डॉलर प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन डॉलर इन आई मेक योर जॉब इजी एड रैंक स्कोर व्हाट डू मीन बाय एड रैंक स्कोर कैन यू सी अबो फॉर्म लाइन टेल मी व्हाट डू मीन बाय एड रैंक स्कोर CPC into quality score. Quality score equals to add rank score. So CPC into quality score. When you type add rank score. So when you try this formula, it will become CPC into quality score by by again your quality score mentioned, right? Quality score plus zero point zero one dollars. What happens if you do maths quality score by quality score? It will become computer CPC plus zero point zero one dollars. You can't do it anyway. The different quality score different. But I'm trying to make you simple. So you just remember this one. Your computer CPC plus zero point zero one dollars. But actual thing is computer average score by your quality score plus zero point zero one dollars. To make your job easy, I'm going to show you one more maths like this so that you will easily understand. Again, today's class, what I'm trying to tell you is not this formula and all these things. You don't even remember. You don't need to remember these things. But you should know what is quality score, what is ad rank, actual CPC, so that you can do better campaigns. So let me play this. This is my earlier video where I used the formulas. I need this graph. So I'm using it. Yeah, I want this. Let me take. So there are four competitors again here: A, B, C, D, and here, Max CPC. How much they want to pay? And I want to pay two dollars two six eight dollar four six eight four dollar six and dollar eight. It's his max CPC is two dollars. Next uh, quality score. Is ten four two one ten four two one. Okay, that. Let me see this. I want all of you to active and try to answer this. Here there are four competitors running a campaign for a particular keyword. A says that I want to pay a maximum of two dollars. Means every time customer click on add, how much amount will be deducted? An estimation? Is it two dollars or more? So he says max CPC is two dollars. Every time customer click on the add, how much amount will be deducted? Is it two dollars or more or less? Yes. Any answer? How one? Like can, can you ask the question again, sir? So there are four competitors. A ready to pay maximum two dollars. So every time customer click on this ad, how much money will be deducted? Is it two dollars or more per click? More. It is more sir. competitor plus zero point zero one dollars. Then how you can say it's more? It has to be less, right? The meaning itself says that max I want to pay one fifty. See, when you mentioned your uh, CPC is one forty, they are not taking more than that. They are taking less than that, right? <laughs> yeah. So it sir. should be less than that. Don't say more than that. So when you say now, what we are trying to calculate is how much Google is charging. 
what is yeah. your actual cpc okay right two or less correct next quality score now this guy got a quality score of 10 can i know why this guy got a quality score of 10 based on his cpr ad relevance and landing page experience correct. based on so that google gave him based on his cpr ad relevance and landing page experience now we want to calculate actual cpc so we discussed if you really want to calculate actual cpc what you need is ad rank score you want it and quality quality score is given i want to have a ad rank score so i think you already know how to calculate ad rank score cpc into quality score so 2 into 10 20 and 4 into 4 16 16 to 12 and 8 into 1 is 8 yeah now let's take the formula if you really want to know when you every time you're paying maximum two dollars how much is google charging it should be less than two dollars so your immediate competitor is this guy b so when it comes to your formula is your competitor ad rank score your competitor is b what is his ad rank score 16 16 your competitor ad rank score is 16 by your quality score what is your quality score a quality score 10 10 plus 0 0.01 dollars and the formula is around 1.6 dollars what does it mean when you're ready to pay two dollars maximum based on your computer performance google charging only 1.6 dollars that's why whenever you put your cpc when you say 140 it's not charging 140 it was charging around 106 and 107 next let us calculate the b1 for b the immediate competitor is this guy the formula for b competitor is c your competitor ad rank score how much be, be ready to pay four dollars but i want to calculate how much google charge in actual cpc so what is his competitor ad rank score b competitor is c what is ad rank score 12 sir 12 so 12 by your quality score is your quality score b quality score is 4 plus 0 0.01 dollars which is equals to 3.01 dollars so you says that i'm ready to pay four dollars but it's google charging me for three dollars only now please calculate for c and put the answer in the chat box c ready to pay six dollars max i want to know how much google charge so this formula you have to use. I'm mentioning here for your ease. Yeah. I want you to write the answer for C. What should be the answer? Correct answer tell me. Four point zero one dollars. Four points. So here, competitor ad rank score is eight. Your quality score is two. Eight by two, means which is four point zero one dollars. I'm writing here eight by two plus zero point zero one dollars, which is equals to four point zero one dollars. This is really good. Right to pay six dollars, but Google charging. The last one, there is no competitor. So his max CPC is going to be his actual CPC, dollar eight. He end up losing more money. His max CPC is going to be his actual CPC because his quality score is less. And there is no competitor for him. That's why you should always improve the quality score. This is how Google calculate. 
so this leads to the discussion how google calculate again i'm writing how google calculate quality score ad rank actual cpc can you please tell me how google calculate quality score it depends on three parameters what are that yes lakshmi harsha answer quality score depends on three parameters what are that the live students you can put it in yeah ctr plus at a level landing page experience now ad rank depends on what generally i said cpc but it's not correct ad rank depends on what ad rank depends on what cpc into quality cpc into quality score is equal to ad rank you will be getting a ad rank score whose ad rank score is good that guy will come on now actual cpc you know, when it comes to actual cpc i said that competitor cpc yeah. if your max cpc if you know, your max cpc is 140 rupees then actual cpc will be your competitor cpc plus 0.01 dollars but actually the formula is not this you can remember this actual formula is competitor ad rank score by your quality score plus 0.01 dollars so don't forget you will be never calculate this this google will calculate but you want to know this that's why i i gave all the mathematical actually this class is not at all important for you but if you have this knowledge it's really good in the future okay i hope you understood this and someone asked me where to check the quality score i'm going to show you that where you will be having a quality score I'm going to check yesterday's campaign here. So with this, your search network will be done from tomorrow. We'll be going for a display network. Yeah, how to check the quality score, I'm going to show you. Campaign. Remember, quality score will be at a keyword level. Every keyword, not a campaign or ad group. So go to keyword first. Now here, this keyword have impression. See, CTR is there. See, CTR is 44%. Cost, average CPC. But there is no column. Generally, uh, these columns are too much. That's why the different columns they haven't given. If you really want to add columns, here is an option called column. And you can, by default, as of now, these columns are there. If you want, you can add it. So what you want is quality score, right? The quality score. Quality score. Apply. Now you can able to see the quality score. See, the digital marketing training in Hyderabad quality score is 3. And digital marketing codes in Hyderabad quality score is 6. And why the less, why the more, again, it depends on the parameters. Your uh, click to rate, how many clicks happens, and whether the ad is relevant or not, and uh, how the landing page experience. Based on all these things, it will be there. But you have a very less data. If you have more data, you can properly interpret it. This is how you can check the quality score. Six is good, actually. Three is less such.
but again this data is very less if we have more data we can find out okay that's it any questions on today's session guys is everything is fine yes okay so generally weekends we don't have class but we'll try to have a class will you be available for tomorrow class yes. on yes yeah tomorrow we'll be talking about display network till now search network someone searching how to show the ad we learn but tomorrow like a, while you watching a tv ads are coming right in such a way how to have a banner ads we gonna learn in the tomorrow class okay thank you very much we'll see you tomorrow guys so so as it's been discussed from every day we used to have a live at 6 o'clock we adjusted to 5 o'clock please be on time today i came at 5 o'clock tomorrow also i'll be coming at 5 o'clock thank you guys bye bye and this will this video watch it again because most of you might be having a confusion no problem uh, i think people ask you what is quality score but they will not ask it this much but having a knowledge is always important thank you guys bye 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 sir